You can finally use Gemini in all of your favorite Google apps, such as Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and even Google Meets. And in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to use them. I'll include some pro tips as well as some hidden use cases for you to maximize your productivity. So, you ready to get started? Let's go! Okay, let me first talk to you about the plans of Gemini in the Google Workspace because it can be a little bit complicated. And it can be simply divided into two categories of people, individual people and business people. So let me explain. If you're just using your individual Google account, then you need something called Gemini Advanced. And this is a paid subscription plan that costs $20 a month approximately. And here's everything you'll get in a Gemini Advanced plan. So you've got the Gemini 1.0 Ultra model. So this is the more advanced model within Gemini. And you also have a Google One subscription if you haven't activated already. So that's the individual plan. And if you're using Google services for your business, then you can use the Google Workspace Gemini plan. So to do this, go to workspace.google.com slash solutions slash AI. And you will come to this page right here. So again, it includes everything that individual people will get, such as Google Doc, Gmail, and Slice, and Meet. Now, on top of everything we just mentioned, you also have enterprise-grade security and privacy. So that's something to consider because if you don't want your company data to be used to train the AI model, then this is the plan for you. So here we have two plans, Gemini Business and Gemini Enterprise. The Gemini Enterprise plan includes everything we just mentioned in Gemini Business. And on top of that, you have some Google Meets functionalities included. And to activate the business plan, you need to go to admin.google.com and sign in with your Google Workspace account. Then on the left-hand side, you will see billing, get more services, and click on Gemini for Google Workspace to upgrade to the plan that you want. So for the business plans, you do have 14-day free trial, and you have a little bit longer for the individual plans, up to two months free trial. So you can use all of the things that I'm going to talk about for free for two months. Okay. With that out of the way, let me show you how everything works. So now let me just walk you through a little bit how Gemini works and the interface and all that. So when you come here, you have this prompt bar, which just works like ChatGPT, as we all know. And if you click on the settings, then you can see the extensions. So these are all Google services that you can choose to activate or not, including Google Flights, Hotels, Maps, Google Workspace, and YouTube. So make sure that this one is activated. First of all, let's talk about Gmail because I believe this is the app that most people use if you're using Google services. So let's try a prompt and see what it can help us write. Open up a new drive and you will see this little bar here that says, help me write. So that's what we're gonna do. Click on help me write and then insert your prompt. Here I have a prompt that says an email template to pitch for a sponsorship for YouTube channel related to AI technology. Be concise and engaging. So hit create. And here you have this draft that you can work on and let's have a read. My name is blah blah and I'm the creator of YouTube channel with focus on AI technology, this subscriber and you know, it's like a template. So it's really useful because now you can just insert your details uh, of your YouTube channel and then you can just pitch to this sponsor like that. And it says, our channel offers a unique opportunity for brands, blah, blah, blah. It sounds a little bit overly formal, but for now, let's just hit insert and boom, it's right inside your Gmail. And if there are things that you don't like, for example, if you want it to be more formal, if you want to elaborate or shorten, you can use all of these buttons here. 
So I'm gonna click on shorten and now you have a much shorter email right here. Let's try another prompt. This time my prompt goes, a fan has written an email to thank you for being an inspiration and that she's going to start her YouTube channel in 2024. Write a response with a friendly and inspiring tone. So hit create. And look at this response. This is perfect. I can even just send it as is, I think. Okay, and let's try the last prompt in Gmail. And that is to write an email to congratulate your coworker's 40th birthday. Be friendly and slightly funny. Okay, so what Gemini is going to give us, let's have a look. Okay, it says, hey there, happy for 40th birthday. I hope you're celebrating in style. I can't believe you're already four decades old. It feels like just yesterday we were fresh faced newbies in the office. Now, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe a little bit too much, but you can always use this and then just customize it as you wish. Okay, let's move on to the next tool, which is going to be Google Drive. So now that Gemini has access to all your files, you can use it to find the files that you are looking for. It is very useful to give it a keyword such as PDF or, you know, something related to contract or your insurance information, and then it can find it for you. So let me show you one example here. For me, I have a prompt that says, Find and summarize my personal CV in 400 words. And when you hit submit, it will just generate this summary for you instantly. So this is really useful. But for me, what I use even more is within Google Docs and Google Sheets. So let's move on to these two. Now I open up a new Google Doc and within you can see this help me write. So click on it and now you can insert your prompts. My prompt says draft a concise video script for my upcoming video that's about five best free AI chatbots. Forgot an S and let's create. Now it will first create a draft for you and if you're happy with it, then you can click on insert just like in Gmail. And if you want to refine it, you can always click on the refine button to change the tone, to summarize, to bulletize, elaborate, shorten, or even retry. And let me show you another prompt to write in Google Doc. And this one is about generate a template for video descriptions to use across all my AI YouTube channel. So let's see what it's going to write. And just like that, you have a description that you can use as a template and you can customize, of course, uh, whatever you want. And it's already in your Google Doc. And I know some of you are impatient to see what Gemini can do in Google Sheet. So let me show you how it works. Open up a new spreadsheet and on the top left corner, you will find Help Me Organize, this small button here. So when you click on it, you will have a place to insert your prompt. My advice is to be as specific as you can. So if you want, you can give it all the columns you want to include and all the budget if you have like the numbers. So it can create something that's more accurate for you. And in this case, I have a prompt that says a YouTube content calendar detailing themes, playlists, topics, deadlines, and other info such as sponsor for my AI YouTube channel. And hit create. And here is the spreadsheet that it generated for us. It looks quite good as a starting point because here we have month, then we have like a theme, topics, and deadline to shoot the video. And we have sponsors, status, notes, so this for me is a good starting point, but of course you can always customize for yourself. And let's try another one. This time I asked Gemini to set up a simple budget tracker for my video production cost. And again, we have a really nice spreadsheet that you can work on, including date, description, category, cost, monthly budget, total spent, 
and node. And if you're not happy with it, then you can just generate again. And this one I actually prefer because in the category we can choose, uh, yeah, we have to insert first. So let's insert. And in the category, you can choose which kind of cost it is. And that's why I prefer this one. Let's just do one last example. And this will be a fitness plan for seven days. And I included my goal is to increase muscles and build legs and glutes. So let's go. And as you can see, we have a really detailed plan that <laughs> even include time and body parts, exercise, reps, you know, time, rest time, and so on. We have Thursday as a rest day and Sunday as well. So I really like that. I might actually use that. <laughs> Let's see. But you get the idea. You can ask it to create like a starting point for you and then you can customize by yourself. It will be much faster than to create something from scratch of course. So with Gemini Advance or any business plans, you also have Google Slides and Google Meets included. But for me, these functionalities are less impressive, so I didn't include in this video. But feel free to explore by yourself and let me know what you think. So if you learned something from this video, go ahead and smash that like button right now and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the AI tips that I will share in the near future. And if you want to learn more about Gemini, then click on this video right now to learn more. And I'll see you in the next video.